Um, what I would say is that social media is here to stay. It doesn't matter how sceptical you are or how fluffy it all seems. Um, it is here to stay. And when Google and Bing put money into it and invest in it and come up with things like Plus One, presuming that it's not an April Fool's joke, um, we know that we need to take notice of it as well. Um, I'd also like to say that um, you can ignore it if you want. And you can carry on trying to buy Tesla like and porn things. But it's not going to work forever. The problem is, even if you are sceptical, we're still learning how social works alongside SEO and how the two can benefit each other. But know this, they most certainly do. And I'm going to show you how uh, this morning. The idea behind everything being a social network is very simple. Uh, me and my daughter, for instance, form a social network. Friends at a pub form a social network. And people at a bus stop, however in name they're talking, also form some form of social network. This isn't anything new. You all know this already. Um, Yet we ignore that in social media terms. We seem to use it in a different way. And we should. If you think about it, having met someone in the pub over a drink, do you later come to trust as a friend? And they tell you something, it could be that they've had a great experience in a garage, whether they've had their car repaired or, or a great piece of music, you're far more likely to go out and buy that same stuff or use the same services because you've had it recommended. And again, this isn't rocket science, it's called word of mouth, and it's been around since some bloke with a long white beard got told that he should build a boat um, because, well, basically because um, I'm also bad at help, by the way. Uh, basically because he was told he was going to rain quite heavily. Um, that's no different to how it is now. And yeah, I'm also bad at drawing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so what evidence do we have that social media is about to impact SEO in a far greater way than perhaps we've seen in the last 10 years? I'm going to present something to you called tweet surfing. Let's make that one free as well. What an awful word. <laughs> um, it's not entirely new, I'll admit. Um, we've seen the guys at SEO Moz uh, do some tests over the last four weeks. They just happen to be running some concurrent tests that we also ran at Fresh Egg as well. Um, but what I wanted to do was share with you some of the results that we found because I think they're interesting. I think they demonstrate how social media and SEO in just one way can work in tandem. So first of all, test one, um, just a few key pointers here, just to set the ground rules of what we did in the uh, first test. Um, we wanted to demonstrate how close the SEO and social media can be and how they can be aligned. And what I did was wrote a fairly link bait friendly, could be an oxymoron, uh, piece of blog, which was entitled, There Are No Social Media Experts. Uh, but it was a pro-social media piece. So the key points to remember on this piece, um, we, placed the, uh, we placed the piece on our blog, it was relatively powerful, it's got good backlinks, it's PR4. Uh, the blog fed into Google News, which was super important, and I'll come back to that. The internal linking on the site was strong, content was relevant to the site and the blog, and we fully optimised the meta tags. So first off, we published the piece at 9.10am, and by 9.15, we appeared in Google News. So five minutes to index, pretty quick. And we appeared as the top story for the words social media experts. So pretty good result to kick off, but nothing fantastic and nothing to do with social media. Um, second up, if you look at the next slide, you'll see that at that point in time, and yes, I did do this manually, it did take me ages to get to, we ranked at 395. So five minutes in, from being indexed, we've got a page that's ranking at 395. Nothing to shout about, really. Uh, an hour later, after I bribed some many people on Twitter to uh, take part in the test, um, we had risen through the rankings and we were now on page, I don't know, whatever, but 146. Uh, again, not a great result, but it shows that actually the tweets that went out were playing their part, or were they? We'll come back to that. And finally, by the end of the day, when we knocked off work, we were on the front page. The term social media experts. So, just to give you some stats on what we did tweet-wise, uh, the initial tweet user me, had 1,500 followers plus. Uh, the RTs accounted for about 130 mentions, and the most powerful retweet was from a user followed by nearly 5,000. Thank you, Rishi, by the way. <laughs> uh, 53,000 followers reached uh, via users. Um, we measured that uh, through a specific tool, which uh, I'll take questions on at the end uh, if you want to know what we used. So, fairly powerful, um, didn't really tell us a huge amount more. I told you I said that. Um, fairly powerful site, as we've already said. Tweets played a huge role in indexing ranking higher, we know that. 
It wasn't entirely clear, though, if they achieved the results alone. And it also appeared that tweets were a secondary level of influence, something that I think SEO models have also found. So we needed another purer test. So test two. In the second test, we kind of tried to remove all of the things that were good about the first test in order to see whether we could do the same thing, have the same influence. Um, I'm working with a chap called Modi at Fresier. Um, he came up with a blog post on his WEF's website, which was a much lower powered site. Um, the site didn't feed into Google News. The internal linking was non existent. No fault of Modi's, by the way. Uh, the content was completely unrelated to the website. The page was not indexed for four days. And the only SEO was the right title. We did nothing else to the page whatsoever. And what we found, uh, this was the, the piece that we put up. Um, this is a Monday morning at 10 a.m. And we put this piece live on Thursday. And by 10 a.m. on Monday morning, Google had pulled the site, but it hadn't actually picked up this page. And I find that really interesting. Four days, and it just hadn't picked it up. But we, at this point, started tweeting. And we didn't get a massive amount of tweets on this one, not as many as we did on the previous piece. But we do have some interesting results. So the cache came in at just after 12 o'clock, so finally it got indexed. So on the basis that we were tweeting out all morning between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., tweets alone, arguably, helped this piece get indexed, at the very least. It wasn't particularly big in terms of position, uh, sitting there at position 60, but the term SEO versus social media. But nevertheless, it was indexed. Uh, a day later, we had a few more tweets on it. Uh, there were also some influencing factors in this, that the daily news digest that produced by some people on Twitter, such as paper.li, were showing up as backlinks, occasionally. Uh, they usually only lasted a day or so. But anyway, by the second day, we'd actually moved up to position 29. So again, to give you some stats on the second result, Obviously a bad spell as well, so that should say test two result. Uh, initial tweet user had 1,500 followers again. The RT's accounted for 36 mentions this time. The most powerful RT was from a user who was followed by 12,000. It was a social media uh, news bot. And 18,000 followers were reached by a user tweet. So not as big as we had on the first test, but nevertheless a useful amount uh, of people and mentions. So the observations that we came up with um, for the second test, backlinks occasionally showed up, as I've said, but didn't stick, suggesting that they were simply just links like paper by ally. Uh, indexing did take longer, but tweets alone appeared to enable this. We also had uh, another piece which we put up on a similar site, similar power, with similar, similar unrelevancy, um, which 10 days on still hadn't been indexed. And that had no tweets on it. So conclusions. These are the things that I would say to you are important if you're going to look at trying to test these things. Make sure the blogs are in Google News. That's the first thing. Google News is far more powerful than we ever give credit for. Build quality followers for Twitter, above 1,500 ideally. Um, again, I can go into a little bit more depth about how we found that figure to be around about the right amount uh, in the questions if you're interested. Tweet your posts using keywords you want to rank for. Optimise at least the type you can make sure the time is used in your tweet. I'll try and encourage other power for account holders to RT. Usually not through monetary bribes. Uh, Paper.li type daily digest sites can help, but they're probably temporary, but again we need some more testing on that. And here's the key for me in all of this, fresh content in page copy helps the likelihood of ranking improvement. But again, that also needs further testing.